Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill water fiends in this guide. So just for starters, I want to throw out there, water fiends are insanely good XP. Um, at the moment, from my testing that I did, I do extensively test every single slayer task to find the XP rates. I found water fiends to be 130k slayer per hour, on top of 740,000 total experience per hour, which is slayer plus combat plus summoning. You can get 300 crimsons an hour here with Drygors, and if you are using a royal crossbow, you can get between 200 and 250 crimsons an hour. I would recommend to wear Drygors as I do with every single Slayer task that you can melee. However, if you don't have Drygors, definitely be using a royal crossbow or at least a black salamander. Anything lower than that won't be very effective. But anyway, um, they are very good melee experience as well. You can get 350,000 combat XP, that's not including hit points, that's just XP in a combat stat, as well as about 112,000 hit points experience on top of that. So that's where the majority of the XP during this task comes from, is from the combat, because there's such good combat XP. However, they're also very good slayer and summoning XP per hour as well. So you just want to come to the Ancient Cavern, as always, pot up. And the strategy here is relatively simple. You just want to be using basics on them until you again get up to your thresholds and ultimates. It's most it's like most slayer tasks. You want to get berserk as soon as possible and then use berserk to kill like three or four of them in a very fast time. And that's the best way to kill water fiends. So as you can tell, they give a uh, 1,200 XP drop. That's just your combat. That's not including summoning per kill. So that is a ton of XP that you're getting every kill considering they take hardly any time to kill. Um, you can usually kill them in one threshold and then of course um, as soon as you get berserk up you'll be two hitting these things. So yeah, you want to get berserk up as quickly as possible. Only use berserk as an ultimate here. All the other ones are kind of a waste of time. And while you're waiting for berserk to recharge, just uh, use your thresholds and get back up to your maximum adrenaline bar using basics again. It's quite simple. This is how you do most slayer tasks and uh, just be prepared to get very very good summoning XP per hour here. Also I want to talk a little bit about the drops and with the drops if you pick up stuff such as um, they drop some alchemical stuff like rune helms etc stuff like that and they also drop a lot of notable drops like mithril arrows for one they drop um, noted water orbs which are worth picking up noted mithril or noted snape grass um, stuff like that which I feel is worth picking up and I also bank when my inventory gets full um, they don't drop a ton of unnotable drops, so um, if you do that, you'll only a bank about once per task, and if you have the fairy ring unlocked here, um, it only takes about 30 seconds to get back. So you can bank like an extra 150k loot or so if you want to, and that's what I normally do in a task. So you, you'll make a couple hundred k from this task, so that's the beauty of it. It's actually profitable, um, and you're getting amazing XP and amazing summoning as well. The bad thing about tasks like Dark Beasts, Dark Beasts are about the same-ish XP per hour wise, however their drops are just so bad that you really um, almost lose money doing a task there, but with the Water Fiends that's not even a problem. And Effigy on video, what about that? Anyway, that's about all for this video. Um, Water Fiends are also very very good effigies because you kill a lot of them per hour and they are uh, such a high combat level. So thanks for watching, I really hope that this video helped out and I will see you guys in the next Slayer Guide or whatever I decide to make. And 50k farming, not bad.